Warning, I wanna share with you something that could save you heartache, frustration, save you money, time, and energy. And trust me, I've been through this mistake a few times and I learned my lesson, so that's why I'm sharing with you. Okay, when you're trimming shrubs, especially on a property like this, that go all the way around the backyard, right? Now, your, your customer says they want their shrubs trimmed. Listen to these things I'm sharing with you. The first thing you wanna do when you're quoting, and, and the last thing's actually the most important, but the first thing is you wanna, you wanna ask your customer very specifically and clearly, what do they expect? Do they want the tops of the shrubs trimmed? How deep? I'll get to that in a second. And then obviously they want them trimmed, but what about the neighbor's side? And so if are they gonna pay to get all one, two, three sides of their neighbor's shrubs trimmed? Because if you have to jump over the fence to do it, it's more work. Be very clear with that. And then also, you're gonna to have to knock on the neighbor's doors because you're gonna to have to jump over the fence to clean up some stuff anyways, if you can help it. So be very clear about what's on it and also put it in the contract. This, excuse me, this customer specifically does not want the neighbor's sides trimmed. So we're just trimming the tops and the fronts and we're gonna to have to knock on the door, jump over the fences and clean up and then leave all the neighbor's stuff, right? But here's the most important thing, the depth of the trimming. When I'm quoting a customer, I'm grabbing the shrubs in front of them and I'm saying, how deep, how much do you want trimmed? We can go all the way about to about here. These shrub trimmers, these Husqvarna's cost $589. We can trim all day with them. These things are beasts. I love them. They're like a katana sword. That's about the max we can trim. See, that's a good foot or more, 15 inches. But we start getting into sticks here. This, so if the customer wants you to cut lower you're cutting into thick sticks that are like this thick maybe this thick <laughs> maybe that thick see i didn't never mind so this will damage your shrub trimmers these shrub trimmers cost 589 dollars it's three times the amount of work as so you have to ch charge your customer an extra six or twelve hundred dollars let them know that up front verbally discuss it with them say hey even if you got to take the shrub trimmers and give them a quick example say hey i can't trim any deeper than this but i can but we're gonna have to get loppers chainsaws i'm gonna have to damage a pair of trimmers so it's going to cost you an extra six or twelve hundred dollars and write it in the contract too because this uh this customer is happy with this remember what i told you Use it the next time you're quoting a shrub trimming job because sometimes the customer might be like, well, hey, I, I thought just, just in between the week that they were waiting for you to show up, they might be like, well, I thought you were going to, this new information, I thought you were going to trim all the way down to the fence line or I thought you were going to cut them in half. Be like, whoa, 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 Mr. Jones, that's not what we discussed. Now you've got an argument. So you've got to get really clear. Or if you say, oh, okay, I'll just do it. Now you, now, now you thought it was going to take you five hours. You're gonna be here 12, 13 hours trimming these shrubs and you're gonna damage your shrub trimmers. And now you're filling up truckloads of, sh why would you do that? So always look inside of the shrubs, see what you're dealing with. And you not only talk about what's included for the price, you talk about what's not included. It means, okay, we're gonna do this, which means we're not going to do this. Because if you say we're gonna do this, communication is like sparse like some people assume all the way into infinity you have to cut you have to create lines of what's included versus what's not included okay with that being said if you want the actual work order that i use in my landscaping business that has a built-in media release form so it can make videos to market your business uh, go to keithkelfus.com slash work order and my brand new book 17 ways to get more landscaping clients just came out it's on amazon and on audible you can listen to it while you work and uh i hope you crush more jobs and make lots of money peace